Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a quick video because I came home to a ColourPop order. Is anyone surprised? I did place a small order and I picked up some new products from their butterfly collection. I can't remember what this one was called, but this is the Lux Lipstick Set in Come Fly With Me and this has five different shades. So I'm sure you can tell I don't have any lipstick on. So I thought, let me start off with putting some lipstick on and just swatching these lippies for you guys in case you are wondering what these look like on my skin tone. And here is what the packaging looks like. This is their standard packaging. I have these and have owned these in the past and even if it doesn't work for me what I can do is give some of them to my mom but I was really interested in Bloom to Bloom, Virgo Moon and then Slow Dance and then there's like a red shade called Come On Clover and Oasis. Those two I wasn't quite as interested in so I was like on the fence but I was like eh it's fine I'll just get all of them and then whatever I don't end up keeping I'll give to my mom. So this is the shade I was really interested in called Virgo Moon. It's like my favorite like terracotta nude shade so I'm going to apply that to my lips. My lips are super chapped. Uh, ew. Mm, that was really creamy. And this is like a formula called the Velvet Blur. If it would remind me of the Pat McGrath um, Matte Trans Formula. Mm. These are so soft. I really like this color. Um, this was one I was interested in called Virgo Moon. So I really like that. Oh my gosh, I should put some gloss on. I'm just going to use this guy. This is Hot Toddy, one of my favorite bu buxom glosses. Probably my most used glosses in my collection. So that was Virgo Moon and then the lighter shade is called Bloom to Bloom. And it looks like that. And I'm going to swatch it. I haven't done lip swatches. I was really interested in this color because I was curious to know if this would be like the right shade of nude for me. It does look a little light, but we'll try it out and see. And then Oasis is the pink color. It's like a very mauve pink tone. I could probably make that work. Slow Dance, which I was really curious about because it has like that terracotta vibe. Come on, Clover. Like, come on over. This is like a dark burgundy shade. And there's that. So really, really cute. And then let me swatch Virgo Moon just so you guys can see it on my skin tone. There it is. It is a little bit pink. I thought it was more of a brown on my lips, but on my swatch it does look kind of pink. Either way, I really like those. Super happy I picked those up, so I will be using those a ton. And they're so comfortable, so excited for that. Hopefully you guys found that helpful. And then this is the pretty butterfly packaging with this set. And they've already announced a ton of launches for Black Friday. I saw they have a whole new collection coming out called something to do with gold and a whole bunch of sets and they're doing like a monochromatic palette set and all kinds of stuff. So here's a palette I told myself I wasn't gonna buy because I didn't need it, but there's one shade in this palette, the Going Coconuts palette that was calling my name and it was the shade Coconut Crush, this middle shade here. So I'm going to swatch this on my arm and see if this was worth the hype at all. I don't know. It just looks so pretty and I was going to order the butterfly palette. So I figured, eh, just throw in the coconut palette. I don't need any of these eyeshadow palettes, but ColourPop is my weakness. <laughs> okay, the next row has Lovely Bunch, Coconut Crush, and then Shell Yeah. Shell Yeah. There we go. I think this palette would look really stunning on a lighter skin tone. <laughs> um, as you can see, most of the matte shades kind of like blend into my skin tone. 
Kind of gives me Biba palette vibes. Oh, and then did you guys see the giant neutral palette called Bare Necessities that they're coming out with as well? So they have been busy, busy campers. Yeah, those shades kind of just blend into my skin, but it's good to see because um, I have been on the hunt, you know, for people on the ColourPop PR list that are my skin tone or deeper because I always feel like I find so many Caucasians that are on their PR list and then I have no idea what things are going to look like on my skin tone or if somebody was deeper than me. I did find a few of them and I did list as many as I found thanks to my friend Makeup Just For Fun. She told me some fabulous creators so now I've been able to see more varieties of swatches which is super helpful for me. The next thing I picked up from them is one highlighter. This is from Soul Body and I'm so curious to put this on my face because it just looks so delicious. So I'm just gonna use my Real Techniques brush and I don't know that I grabbed, okay, now I know I grabbed some. And I'm just throwing this on. I've been at work all day, so my whole face feels kind of highlighted. And Angelica, of course, told me that she got this, like, two shades in PR, and she's like, oh my god, they smell like tropical deliciousness. And they do, they smell like suntan lotion. And it has, like, a very creamy texture. Oh god, that smells so good. It smells like suntan lotion. I feel like I just took a bath in highlighter, so that's always fun for me. And I like the packaging. It's kind of cheapy, but it's cute. Actually, let me give you guys a swatch. Oh yeah, it definitely feels wet. And then, you know, when you rub your finger on it, it definitely goes away. And there's the swatch. And I got the shade Warm Gold. They also had a shade called Rose that I had my eye on, but I decided to go with this one color. Very excited. And then last, but certainly not least, is the Flutter By palette. So cute. It's very mauve -y and I thought it would be a good dupe for the Pat McGrath palette I just picked up. So I will do some kind of side-by-side -side deal, but here are the first four shades. So we have Just Imagine, which is this one, um, Wild Wing, Made to Last, and Gotta Fly. So let me swatch. I'm just doing the baby little swatches. Ooh, that shade is pretty. The burgundy shade. Okay, the next row has the pressed glitter. And we have Sun Flare, Overpacked, uh, Mara, Mary Posa and Angel BB. Angel Baby, is that what that stands for? I don't know. I don't know what the cool kids are saying these days. So there's the next row. Kind of pretty, very like glam. I kind of dig. Okay, the last row is kind of boring, uh, but let's swatch. There they are, and we have Lush uh, to Changes get away and float on okay so i kind of swatched them backward but there there are the swatches of the flutter by palette kind of cute i feel like i could do some good things with that particular palette i will go ahead and insert some close-ups of flutter by so you guys can see them up close okay so i have recently just bought so many palettes here and there so i thought i would swatch the ColourPop Whatever palette as well. Now this one is not new, but it really caught my eye and then every time I meant to pick it up, it kept selling out. So I thought I should pick it up when I did see it available and I did and I've really been enjoying this one to be very honest with you guys. I kind of knew I would just because these are really like my colors that I love to wear every day. So this is the first row we have Tardy, Pink Slip, Maybe Later, and Copycat. And I've really been enjoying pairing this with other palettes. <sighs> Look at that red, it's so beautiful. And my arm may be a little bit stained from swatching all these palettes, but I thought better late than never. So there is the, the next row and we have Pass It On, Bad guy, duh, not okay. Ooh, look at that orange shade. 
That's so fiery and gorgeous. Oh, sorry, I got a stray swatchy swatch here. And then the last row we have Ditching You in Bold, TTYN, Mrs. Brightside. So I think those are like 90s inspired. How cute. I love this palette. I think this is very like tan and person of color friendly. Definitely one of my favorite palettes that ColourPop has launched in the last few weeks, months, I don't even know. But I will go ahead and insert close-up swatches of this palette right here. Okay, so like I said, I have used this palette twice now, so I feel like I can give you a decent review on this. The mattes are gorgeous. I did actually wear the pressed glitter on my eyes for my work Christmas party just because I felt like it would like really amp up the look. So because of that, I did put this on my eyeballs. Now, you guys know pressed glitters are not eye safe, so you shouldn't really be putting these on your eyes if you are not a trained professional, which I am not, but I am comfortable with how to remove them, how to place them, and things like that. So I didn't feel too worried about putting them on, but I definitely don't wear them on a daily basis. I really do like this palette. It's one of my favorites that ColourPop has launched this year. I was going to film a little separate video kind of swatching it and reviewing it for you guys, but I really don't have that much more to say about it. So if you guys see this one on sale for Black Friday, maybe you want to pick it up. Okay guys, last but certainly not least is the So Jaded palette. I bought this when I was at the airport or when was this? I don't know. It was sometime in September, so it's been a hot second since it came out, but you guys have not seen it on my channel yet. I did use it like once or twice, and I haven't been so in love with it, so it's kind of been neglected. So I thought, hey, let me at least watch it for you guys in this little video since I am talking about all things ColourPop and with all the sales and stuff around the corner, I might as well, you know, show you guys what I have. So if I help some of you kind of decide on what to get, then at least, you know, it'll be worth me buying this palette. So I'm just watching the first row here. And there's actually six eyeshadows, so I'm going to need to clean off a finger. Sw key, um, swatch the last shade for you guys in each one of these, so just know that. But the first five I have here are diamond rose quartz ruby which is gorgeous then we have royal jewels and fell uh, what is it fill fill right it's like a beautiful purple duochrome but you can hardly see it so that's kind of irritating so here are the next five shades i have moonstone my precious oh sorry moonstone my precious sunstone pearl and citrine citrine is of course everybody loves a good mustard. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are just as crazy about mustard as I am. Okay, the next set of swatches have some beautiful shades. We have Garnet, Amethrine, Period, Period? I don't know. It reminds me of her Super Shock Shadow though in the Chartreuse shade. And then we have Your Gym and then Topaz, which is a pressed glitter. What is this Super Shock called? The Chartreuse one. Oh my god, it was like my favorite color pop color for so long. So there is those shades. And then I think I'm going to swatch the rest of them on my other arm. <laughs> just so I have room. And then I will insert close-ups for you guys just so you can see the textures and things like that. So let's get into the next five shades. So we have Tiger's Eye Opal, which is another pressed glitter. And then we have Aquamarine, Geodude, and Car Carnelian. I don't know, guys. Sorry. That's kind of embarrassing. I don't know all the names. So there is that row. And now we're kind of getting into the blues and the purples. So that should be kind of fun if you guys are into those kinds of shades. And then we have two neutrals still. We've got Stoned and Jasper, Turquoise and Onyx, and then Emerald, which is like a pretty dark green. There they are. 
Ooh, that is a pretty matte blue turquoise is. And of course, if you guys know anything about me, I love emerald green. It's like one of my favorite shades. So that is really pretty. I could take a whole palette with just like those grungy greens. I'd be so pumped. And then the last row or last five shades, I'm going to swatch. There they are. We have Jade, Alexanderite, Smoky Quartz, uh, Smoky Quartz, um, Amethyst, and Sapphire. Oh my grungy heart is so excited. Okay, sorry, I kind of screwed that up, huh? So there's their last couple of shades. And I will insert close-up swatches right here. Okay guys, so you've kind of seen like a massive swatch party of some recent things that I did pick up from ColourPop. So if there's anything that you want to see a particular video on, the easiest way to do that is to just comment down below and I'll be more than happy to try and indulge you in whatever you choose. Yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed, like this video if it was helpful, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and I will catch you in my next one soon. Bye guys.